Hello friends and welcome again to another Echocalypse video! Hey guys! So first of all we got a new code that you can use and it's Echo 30 days I think. Yes, Echo 30 days you can confirm. I already confirmed it and I claimed it. It will give you 10 summons plus a frame that you're gonna get here. This one, this is the frame. So download milestone avatar frame one it's a celebration for 30 days so everybody that have been here for 30 days congratulations and everybody who want to continue with us the game is being awesome a new unit that will be dropped next week with an event because this event has only one day tomorrow it will uh, finish the event for levia and shiraha will be dropped into the game with her event and with her special skin that looks absolutely awesome great artwork by the way and uh, if you want to go and check more and more about the units and i'll be talking about the leisure a little bit i'll be talking a lot of the major point that you need to pay attention for because it's super important you can click on here and go and uh, check the units that didn't come yet and you don't have like here towerette and the other one is Nile. We don't have Nile, so you can go and check the skills. If the skills are there, it means these are what they're gonna have. So she, uh, Nile's Pursuit deals 10% more damage and it goes up to 20%. So this skill deals more damage than you gonna know that Nile is a carry and deals a lot of damage, which is good. She doesn't deal attack, but damage to the total da uh, attack that she has or total buffs that she got and overall damage. And I don't know if Shira is here, if they have their uh, her skills here, but that's what you need to know about this. Now, another thing, as you see, I'm at 334, per, uh, th 34 points in total for uh, my attributes and for because I used my gifts and uh, uh, leveled up the characters. So as you see, it gives you infinite health or infinite armor and attack. You can keep going uh, up and max, the, uh, max them and it will give you the total of the level so what i do basically is when i get gifts i go to my units that are level one or whatever i get quick gifts get them one level two levels and something like that. as you see the total of my lineup gets higher and higher because i've been asked like how do you keep uh, growing in your numbers another thing that i want to talk about and it's in the event in the shattered cosmos now let's let's talk a little bit because i want to i missed a little bit of points that i need to explain a little bit here so whenever you cross and uh, you're uh, you need to bridge for, first of all we talked about this that you need to have a bridge connected to everybody now when you beat the first boss or the second boss you're gonna go to the bosses let's say this boss the gate boss so you're gonna go to it and you want to fight you want to have a bridge connected to it and at least at least you need to go and start a challenge or pick a kin here and start a challenge and hit for one more time at least one time okay so you're gonna be ranking in the ranking here so you don't miss on the rewards plus the single damage rewards will give you some uh, of course everybody will get rewards even if you did the last uh the last hit and you were like the lowest uh, attacking uh person to do this or the last attacking player to do the numbers or the damage you're gonna get rewards in the total damage when the boss ends or in the who did the most damage once with single hit so that's what you need to understand about this again when you do this do it to every single boss that you can even if you go and steal others guilds bosses so this guild didn't kill this boss and we are killing everything right now we, after we defeat the boss and the last boss of course the butterfly as well you can go and hit it and you can check the rankings and you need to rank here because the rewards are amazing actually the rewards are great and the total damage if you're gonna get gash point tickets and it's summoning for elemento and elemento is so important because it buffs your uh, battle rating so high and here you're gonna get a little bit of the chimera shards and a little bit of diamonds so what i was talking about after you finish everything now you need to prioritize how to get more points you can go to another guild that is not super active or their players are not killing the bosses and you can snatch the boss from them and you can also deal damage here as you see there's only one person and you're gonna go in the total damage as well and get some rewards which is absolutely fantastic as well so keep that in mind and do this another thing as you see this box here you claim the resources so i claim the resources and i take them sometimes it drops something like this last quarter moon for you it's level two sometimes level one sometimes level three depending on what it is you go to your seller atlas and you can level these up according to what you have so if you have i have points now and i can upgrade this one so this one usually needs 300,000 points now it's 26,800 or uh, 268,000 it needs 300,000 points but because i have the level two of this one 
armor and resistance it will give me a discount so i can level it up of course i can go to this one and make it but it will still the difference between the cost for this will still be here so i need to wait a little bit or get more drops from this which will make it easier for me now if you go to your bag and there is like something that you don't need i need the attack and resistance do i need it attack and resistance i already upgraded it so it doesn't help me maybe in the second run on level seven this is level six it will be helping me but for now i want need to min max i can get that later or if i want to speed my process here and finish this three i can go and dismantle this or remove it or decompose it so i decompose it i get 400 4800 now if you decompose something like level three let's say do i have any level three no level three level three give you twelve thousand, and level two uh, one gives you less give you two thousand or one thousand two hundred this one will give me four thousand eight hundred which will help me a lot now i have two of this hp and armor and i have hp and arm yes i have hp and armor it gave me a discount it's now 256000 it's not as the same as this one because i have two here i have one this is why it's 260 keep that in mind this is how you can do this if something that you already have and you already done it like armor resistance here here attack did i do the attack i did the attack so i don't need the attack anymore and i can sell this or decompose it the attack one and get more points and these points will push me even further so i can accumulate more and more and finish these that i want to finish so i can go so i have two out of two and this is twenty five thousand. so i needed a little to wait a little bit so it can accumulate and i can go and be stronger and finish this three the more that you finish the more that you finish these and you get the weary rewards pay attention to one thing that i want to talk about now how did i finish this it was with the guild hub i finished it early because i need to occupy i think stellar rune reaches six occupy level five runes and i couldn't do that my guild helped me i did all my power to defeat the last team and then i took the base so with guild members you can defeat them and take this of course there's also the shop let's talk about the shop there is the lunar shop and it's the shop that has uh these shards the lunar shards which is easy to get from here now you can buy whatever you want if you feel like you're missing something because you want to buy it the most important thing that i'm focusing is this as you see i've been buying from this because this is so hard to get and the, it's the way resources to improve the augment of your elemental which is really hard to come by so focus on this if you want my advice and this is important of course everything is important if you're missing it but this is so scarce to come by i'm talking as free to play and low spender if high spenders get it with bundles i don't know if it's so important for them as they get hundreds of this so let's talk about the uh star shards now the star shards are so important i as you see used a little bit just to get to unlock this one and this one to get it to one star but the others i'm using for the summons just get all the summons the bio chips is really nice so if you can get the bio chips because these are i will be talking about them soon these are so important also to level up your characters and if you're missing something of or if you're really a gambler you can buy this chest and go for the 666 or 266 or these diamonds which is i find a little bit gambly but if you hit it it's worth it so now let's go and talk about something other thing that is important the weapon rnd many people didn't understand something about it this is for Elemanos, and this is for who spends and get points. If you want to rank, you need to get 500 points at least. How can you rank? I'll be explaining about it. And of course, you're going to get the ser cross server and uh, the local server. The local server have ended. There's the cross server. Of course, the local server, I didn't, I couldn't rank here. It needs a lot of... Uh, <laughs> you, you need to spend actually to, uh, to rank here. So in the rankings... We have the cross server and the local rewards and the rewards are really good for the single uh for the personal and for the syndicate which will really help you these ones are really good so you're gonna go to the shop now you have three categories in the shop first of all there's the supply shop the supply shop don't buy anything from here except uh if you want to compete really quickly you're gonna go buy all of these and then buy these and this will help you to push and get more rewards these you can use them the battle data and the active alloy just to add them like uh, i don't want to buy one here but if you buy them they will get, be here you can click this it will give you one uh one point and it will give you a silver or this currency which is uh the battle research point and this one is the material research point which if you use the alloy it will give you three points and it will give you one in here now one is for 150 it means one summon and if you use 10 you're gonna get 10 summons so you can go back to the shop with this currency 
you're gonna level up and you're gonna go and buy the summoning materials and the summoning materials are in the weapon research shop and it's the ones that I did I bought the 10 of them and in this shop the most important thing to buy is the summons for everything these summons the gash one ticket the living uh, metal and this one now the most important thing that you need to buy is the living metal and the normal summons then the gash one because the gash one pity is at 80 this one as 30 and the other one at 50 so it's easier to go and reach the pity and buy and it goes by priorities this one at 80 so it's a little bit harder this is why i recommend buy the metal and buy the normal tickets this has no pity the neolith it's straight rng so this is why i tell you in the end buy the neolith if you're lucky you're gonna get something if not you're not so another thing that many of my friends told me that they didn't understand which is this one this is a case bio chip selection not a bio case selection so it's not picking a unit it's not like you, if you're gonna claim this you're gonna get five units it's five shards of these units it means you can pick these even if you don't have them you can pick if you don't have dina you can pick five shards of her and unlock five shards of her and continue building her with these things if you get them in the future or if you get a farm her in the shop but again you can buy uh, tw uh five uh, uh, the 12 and you're gonna unlock a full character from here if you don't have them and you want to go for them or if you al already unlock the unit that you have and you want to up uh, upgrade you can use these these you can't use these shards on units that you don't have only the units that you have you can buy these shards and use them to continue them and upgrade them to one star two star whatever the other things that i'm gonna talk this is for free to play and low spenders these are the most priority things these ticket summons and then these if you have the currency for them of course you're not gonna be able to buy everything for whales or paying customers you can buy whatever you want but also i recommend buying all the summons then going for these to improve or or uh, upgrade your units give them stars and this one this is so important you want to get have golden gear on the six units that you have on your lineup then you gotta go and do something else buy something else maybe go gamble for the chimera because the chimera is a gamble if you unlock a chimera you may get bad substats or you get good substats this is all what i wanted to say about these two things and the leisure center don't forget if you want to increase your power just go check whatever you have at level one or two quick gift one level two level whatever three levels you're gonna get more power and the more power that you get your account will be looking healthy and nice and that was it for this video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace